There's, a, there's an excitement when uh, you're doing something that's new. I like to always sort of think about like keeping the work on on sort of a on an edge and um, sort of push it and you know sometimes hopefully they they succeed and sometimes they may fail so you know there has been a very strong autobiographical element through my work and you know I don't think that'll that'll change um, because you know it's it's the only thing that I have really have got 100% control over is the work that I make and it is directly related to my life, you know. I was going through so much paper, um, I would draw on old drawings or I would draw on the back and I would draw multiple um, multiple poses or, or, or draw over the top of um, drawings that were sort of less successful or whatever. I think the multiple point of views and the, uh, the sort of the duality that I'm trying to get at, um, it's, it's, for me it's always been difficult to try to, um, to try to represent, especially if it's a portrait or something like that, to try to represent someone in one still image. Um, I think life's much more complex than that and humans are much more complex than that. And, and even with my self-portraits, I don't really Think, think of them as self-portraits really, they're sort of just, um, they're kind of um, a symbol of um, what was going on at the time, that, that mental state, um, you know, what emotions were going through my head, um, what's the actual situation and I try to, I try to keep um, the, um, the context of the painting a little bit loose um, because they're almost sort of um, paintings of memories directly linked to my life. Um, you know, I've often seen um, painting and um, especially host mounting exhibitions and, and sort of that exposing nature of, of um, being an artist um, as almost like a crucifixion, I guess. Um, and I've, I've always sort of looked at painting and making work as um, both symptom and remedy.